My viewers, this is George On Deck with the latest uh, edition of the George On Deck Show, and I'm very honored tonight to have the Putnam County Executive with me, Mary Ellen O'Dell. How are you, Miss O'Dell? I'm fine, thank you. And her Economic Development, well, give me the title. President of the Economic Development Corporation. Megan Taylor. Yep. And I congratulate you on your new position with Miss O'Dell. Thank you. Um, so what's happening in Putnam and, and, and uh, your great county, Miss O'Dell? Well, we have a lot of, lot of good things. Um, bringing Megan on is really changing a lot of um, direction for Putnam County right now when it comes to economic development. Partnering with uh, tourism, our director, as you know, Libby, Libby Pataki. Pataki. And she's a wonderful Correct. woman, and her husband was a great governor. Um, he was. He brought about the STAR program, which so many middle-class people um, take advantage of and can stay in Westchester or Putnam County. Right, and they're Putnam County residents, and the governor swore me in on yes. November 11th of 2011, wow. which was a great kickoff for my administration. And mm -hmm. uh, shortly thereafter, Libby joined us as our director of tourism, and she's presented some great, great initiatives and programs. She's very hands-on. She's very accessible. She's been a, a, it's been a real, real um, pleasure working with her. And a very nice person. And she's as a well wonderful as George person. And your mom, <laughs> yeah. Rose. Uh, and Rose. And, yeah. I, and they just celebrated uh, their second grandbaby. Now, so. I understand we have breaking news tonight that Putnam County may be getting a hotel in See the future. See that? After less than <laughs> 90 days, our new full time president of the EDC. We critical to have a, a hotel in Putnam County. Very critical to economic development and growth. This is big news for us. Megan, can you tell us more about? Sure. That? Uh, Libby, uh, Libby, and I are actually working with the um, with the owners of the Garrison, um, the Garrison, the Garrison Golf Country, uh, Country Club. Club over in uh, over Fine in Garrison, golf course. and they have a beautiful golf course there and a beautiful wedding facility and really just gorgeous grounds. And they are entertaining the fact of putting in a forty room hotel. Wow. which would be tremendous for Putnam County and tremendous really for tourism in the area as well. And hence the reason why Libby and, our, Libby and I are really working closely together on this. And that's one of the this. projects you're working on that as is an one economic of them. Yes. development person? Absolutely. Wow. We've been working on trying to get a hotel uh, to Putnam County for quite some time. E even when I was a legislator, we were mm -hmm. always trying to make that happen because we recognize that while we have so much to offer in tourism, we really became just a day trip right. county. Mm -hmm. So with the hotel now, mm -hmm. all of our destinations can be enjoyed, you know, perhaps in, in a long weekend or maybe even a week. You know, we have so much to offer with our bike paths, our lakes, uh, Fonstock Park, the Buddhist Monastery, you know, just to name a few of um, destinations that are, you know, that are here and open and are wonderful. Sounds great, you know. Um, I've been following your career. What I like about you is you keep taxes down. Uh, you don't know this about me. I'm the president of an anti-tax organization, people for 0% taxes, and uh, you're doing a great job in Putnam. Tell us how you feel about the budget and keeping taxes down. Well, keeping taxes down is <clears throat> our everyday challenge, certainly. We, uh, you know, we say we're working every day on our budget. And when I came on board, one of the things that my Deputy County Executive Bruce Walker and I identified immediately was the uh, burden of the unfunded mandates mm -hmm. that Albany shifts down to us. And, and just to put it in very simple terms, I have a $139 million budget. Wow. $102 million of that goes directly to Albany Wow, that seems so for their unfair. Programs. It's very unfair. It's very unfair. And I think what we're trying to do is to clarify a misconception. For years, you would watch state elected officials come running down to Putnam County with checks saying, 
here's your mom, you know, and member items. Here's uh -huh. money for you. Here's money for you. When in fact, all it was was just a return of our dollars. Right. The county is pumping 90% of our tax revenue up to Albany. Mm. And, and they're just handing us back a, a bill. Mm. And it's wrong. And, uh, you know, it leaves us $37 million to just take care of the things that we are, you know, that we feel we need to take care of outside of our responsibilities of highway and jail and uh, emergency response and does that tie in with a regional funding program is that from the state or explain that the regional me. funding I'll, I'll um, hand that off to Megan the regional funding is uh, our economic development oh. picture so then we have to have Megan talk so <laughs> so the regional funding was enacted when Governor Cuomo came into office and he had rolled out this w this new way of receiving economic development incentives to entice businesses to relocate to New York and to expand within New York. And what he did is he basically consolidated all of the state funding uh, programs. So there's about 28 programs spread out over 13 different agencies wow. within this round of the CFA, of the Consolidated Funding Application. So the applications are all the same. There's no, you right. know, hidden tricks or any hidden avenues. It's everything is transparent and open. And all in. And Putnam, right. unfortunately, has not been as active as we should have been. And that was a lot of, uh, lot of the reason that I pushed so hard to get a full-time president of economic development in, mm -hmm. in the county. And sure. it, this uh, particular round of funding, in Megan's very short period of time, she's had about 30 points of contact. Mm -hmm. interested yeah. in this and, and it's not just for businesses we should know right. it's for not-for-profits who are struggling to meet the uh, demands of what they offer in services and also to deal with their cuts that Albany has been right. cutting them exponentially over the years so mm -hmm. uh, you know and we're here for both the business and the not-for-profit exactly and it's also this this regional funding is also for municipalities as well so anybody looking to do a feasibility study in terms of transportation or maybe um, energy efficiencies and trying to you know to promote their local municipality as well any type of state funding that anybody is looking to receive you have to go through this process now so it's a, just a way again to consolidate um, consolidate the money that is in Albany to try to to try to get businesses. You know an idea I don't know if you have a grants writer in Putnam or not I know a lot of uh, towns are getting people who get these government grants from the state. Is that an idea? Well, I, I'm going to keep a copy okay. of this tape and play it back <laughs> for uh, my colleagues on the legislature because really? we did, in fact, budget for a grant oh, wow. position. And, wow. Uh, my school board just did it. I live in Peatskill, and right. I know the town, I think, I'm pretty sure has it's a, a it's a very It's a very smart uh, position mm -hmm. to sure. have. Even it, if you spend a hundred thousand dollars, if you can bring back millions in aid of where I should have right, I should have brought you, <laughs> you want to come and talk. Well, <laughs> well, I'm sort of retired, but I, I might consider it. Uh, right, right. No, kidding, it's it, it really is a very smart way, and we, and we have looked at it, and I think that we will um, realize after this particular round of funding that it is something we need and. We have noticed that while we're studying transportation in Putnam County with our transportation task force, you know, trying to meet the needs of a rural county and mass transit to see, you know, why are we spending so many dollars, you know, a couple million dollars to serve a less than 1% population. We're trying to, you know, make those two fit. The grant writers really something we've identified as a smart way to spend wow. our money, yeah. Now, I heard you talk about Libby Pataki and tourism. Mm -hmm. Boy, what a tie-in with a new hotel there. In, I know, I and know. And, and Libby and I really have been working very closely together um, on, on numerous different fronts throughout the county. Putnam is an absolutely gorgeous county and, and, and an obvious tourist attraction. And what we are trying to do is tie together tourism and economic development to promote the businesses that are already here and to try to attract new ones coming in. Um, there's three of the 30 leads that I've been working on since I um, since I came on April 1st is actually three breweries, microbreweries that are looking to locate to Putnam County, wow. which would be an obvious tourist attraction and really tie into economic development very nicely, um, creating jobs, bringing in capital investment to the county. So 
we're working together to really try to make those come to fruition. Sounds great. And Food I and beverage has been identified as a cluster uh -huh. here that mm -hmm. works well for Putnam County. And, and restaurants. Uh, right, just yeah. like Peekskill. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, rest Peekskill seems to be booming with restaurants. Peekskill's a terrific model for us to uh, study mm -hmm. in Putnam County. It really is. The growth, the smart growth that Peekskill's sustained um, over the years with its arts and culture and, and the microbrewery, right. the craft beer and all I of that. I hear you lost your economic development man. My planner. Your planner back to Pete Skill. Well, Anthony. we stole them and then they <laughs> stole them back. I uh -huh. didn't put the no backsies clause on oh, them. But, okay. uh, you know, when we uh, identified uh, him as being somebody that would be a perfect mm -hmm. fit for Putnam, he is a Putnam homegrown uh -huh. kid, um, we knew that he was... Um, or, you know, just a superstar and that, you know, that somebody someday would recognize what we recognize. I just didn't realize it would be so quick. Mm -hmm. But in the time we've had him, he's really laid out a good road map for us um, in a good direction Now, Miss Odell, something just passed, Flag Day. Yes. And my tie to Putnam is my son lives in your county. Yes. His name's George Ondek. He lives in Kent. And his son just graduated from Paris Island. He's in the Marine Corps. And you're very and proud. And I hear you're very pro-military and pro-serving our country. Um, I um, enjoy serving our veterans um, as the county executive, but I have been involved in a lot of veterans organizations for a very long time, even before I was a legislator. And uh, I most recently was invited to take uh, the honor flight to Washington, D.C., where I was honored to wow. escort one of our own, Putnam County's own, uh, World War II veterans, Mario Antochi, wow. who was a POW, back to uh, Washington, D.C. It was a w really a wonderful event. But I wear my Marine Corps pin, oh, and I wear good. my I veterans salute pin every and day. And I hear you were wearing the flag all over the county at Lake Lanida. Was there 110 flags there or that something? That was our Row of Honor initiative. That was a, a first-time um, uh, initiative that I introduced to uh, Libby as a tourism and to our veterans as a way to raise funds for, um, actually, this particular round was for the Purple Heart, who actually sponsored the honor flight that I went on. So we offered sponsorship for 100 Made in the USA American flags, and uh, we displayed them all along Lake Lanida. I like that, made in the USA. Correct. Well, you, you wouldn't believe it. I bought a Viet, not a Vietnam, a Vietnam veterans hat, U.S. Army Vietnam, and I looked on the inside, and it said made in China. Well, I put it back, and I got one from made in the USA. I'll tell you a true story. When we did the moving wall, when I worked uh, for Senator Ball's office in my hiatus between legislature and county executive. And isn't he a great senator, by He's the a way. terrific senator, and we do share the same uh, supporters. What I liked about him, I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm a disabled Vietnam veteran. I don't have a Purple Heart, but Mr. Ball put on fantastic dinners for Vietnam vets, mm -hmm. and I felt like I was finally being welcomed back home. Welcomed home, right. That's, at, that's at the Mayapak Firehouse and then I was at a there. country yeah. club. Yeah. Oh, yes. Very that's, appreciated. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's really a wonderful thank you, and at Thanksgiving, I think it's, it's very timely yes. that he does that. But when we brought the moving wall to Putnam uh -huh. after 15 years in uh, October of 2011, we were looking to help offset the cost and buy some caps. And uh, Carl Rohde, our director of Veterans Affairs, who's a Silver Star Vietnam veteran, looked inside his cap when we were looking at the different ones, and that one was made in Vietnam. And, and it's so yeah. interesting. I how was at life a coal store and I saw a shirt, and I was about to buy it. It said "Made in Vietnam." I threw it back on the rack and bought one from America, two or three dollars more, but I was willing to pay right, that. Right, right. Now we're very proud of the Row of Honor, and we'll, we'll do it again in Veterans Day. So anyone who's interested. You know, the whole idea is to buy a flag in honor of someone, whether they served their country or just loved their country. And, uh, and the proceeds will go, again, like I said, to a veterans organization, whether it's Wounded Warriors. It, it goes within a committee and the decision will be made. Uh, hometown yeah, there's so heroes. many wonderful, mm -hmm. legitimate organizations out there. And I know we don't want to promote Mr. Ball tonight, but um, 
He's taking World War II vets to Washington, D.C. He's doing an honor flight of his own, but he's doing it uh, in a bus, with a, on yes. a bus and trip. paying for their dinners, breakfast, and a trip to uh, yes, reunite and World War II vets. I, having, having experienced the honor flight, I can tell you that he will right. walk away the way I walked away, feeling um, I extremely empowered by spending that much time Mm -hmm. with um, our, our, the greatest generation, you know, mm -hmm. those few who gave so much for so... And we can't forget Vietnam f vets. They're the we forgotten generation of, right. because of the liberalism that went on in the country at mm -hmm. that time. Many of us were forgotten for 45 years, and Mr. Ball made it happen. And you, too, I know you assisted him. That's where I met you that night. That's, um, you know, one of the, one of, I think, the the kindest things that Americans can do for those of you who served in Vietnam is to just say and I welcome home. I must and tell it means my audience too, I met you three or four months ago and she was at a Purple Heart Foundation dinner mm -hmm. for Purple Heart recipients and Congressional Medal of Honor recipient that night. And that was because Putnam County was uh, officially declared the first Correct. Purple Heart County. That's right. In New York under our administration. And We're I very understand proud of that. the fellow, I forgot his name, from Cortland is now the state commander of the Purple Heart. I Willie think. Nazario. Yeah, great yeah, guy, wonderful by man. the way. I've they all him, are. I've had him on my TV show. A few yeah, times. wonderful. Dennis Castelli, uh, who's oh, our Dennis, county historian, great guy. had an awful lot to do. Uh, with making Putnam County officially the first Purple Heart County in New you York State. You mentioned Costelli. Wasn't there a state assemblyman, Mr. Costelli? Is he, well, he represented parts of yeah. Westchester. So yeah, sure. we got to get him back in office. Uh, he's a great guy. <laughs> yeah, he's, but he's let's get there. back to uh, economic development. What do you see in the next uh, year or two in Putnam? Uh, do, are you talking to any developers or anything? We are. I, I am. Um, the The county is positioned very, very well right now, just really based on location you know directly in between Westchester and Dutchess we have um, we have a, a ton of opportunities in Putnam based on our shovel ready sites that we have we have one of the most highly skilled workforces in the uh -huh. in the Hudson Valley and um, I am continuing to partner with our regional and state economic development officials to really get Putnam back on the map in terms of um, in terms of being business friendly and open for business under Maryland, um, the administration is absolutely phenomenal in terms of welcoming people in and, and really trying to drive job growth and, um, and capital investment. So we, I, I, see it, I see a lot on the horizon for Putnam. Mary Ellen, I saw another breaking news this morning. You're going to save people on sales tax. Do you want to talk a little bit about that just before they go back to school? Yeah, thank you. This is um, what we uh, coined in our state of the county, it's called a back to school sales tax free holiday. And what we had proposed was a 10 day period of time in August where uh, families could go purchase school supplies, you know, clothing, books, pens, you know, all the things that you need to get a kid back to school and um, make the sales tax uh, portion of the bill exempt. And, you know, we, we studied it, and, and we recognize that it's done all over the country. I presented it last year to the state, and uh, the Senate unanimously approved it. We struggled with the assembly. We brought it back this year, and what we did was we sort of uh, split it a little bit. The, not sure that we were going to get full state support, although I'm confident we're going to get the Senate again, getting a little bit of um, pushback from the assembly. They're not quite sure this is something mm -hmm. that they are willing to promote. But the county itself, the county of Putnam, will be waiving its county sales tax for that 10-day oh, period that's great. of time. So that's about 4 4.5% four less tax. Well, yeah, and if you put it in dollars and cents, if as a parent, it would probably cost about $1,000 easily mm -hmm. to, to, to outfit a kid to get back to school. So saving that $45, $50 can either go towards an item that the kid wouldn't, you know, would need otherwise. Or maybe the family goes to dinner mm -hmm. that night and gets to spend a little bit of time. And that's by one kid, by four kids, if a person had four kids, that's they right. save uh, 200 And that's, part, that's for the family. But what we're also trying to drive here is Main Street. We're right. trying to help our local businesses. We're trying to get the folks in Putnam County to shop in Putnam County. And I think the incentive is there. 
built in. If, if they're going to save a little bit of money, then why not take a look at the, that you know, business down the street and stop in and, and get your goods. Do you have a Putnam County Day where you have a festival or something? That, that might be an idea to promote business in the future. Well, we have a very active uh, Putnam County Chamber of Commerce now oh, that yes. is collectively and representing who's, all who's the, the chambers. who's the head of it, Ms. Ma uh, Jennifer oh. Marr, yeah. I think I know her, very She's, fine. Don't tell person. anybody, but the women are taking over. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big mean, secret. I don't know if they might have a, <laughs> Is that mean we might have a woman president someday, and you might be uh, el eligible not, to move up? I, I would love to be. I would love to be able to say that that I could, you know, I could see that in the future. But, but you like where you're at. I love being the county executive. Really? I really do. I first of all grew up in this county, and I love this county, and I raised my kids here, and I've been very active in a whole you know, whole diverse area of um, volunteering and mm -hmm. being in the legislature and now having the honor to serve as a county executive. It's really, wow. it's really been a, quite an honor. it's living the dream. What? Now, you work very closely with Rob Astorino, our county executive. Yeah. I'm in Westchester. I live in Peekskill. Yes. And he does a tremendous job. Yes. And I know the Tappan Zee Bridge is not part of Putnam. Oh, but, but it is. It is. We, it you is. You know, the Putnam County has 16 miles of shoreline, oh, you know, wow. due north of that project. Right. So, but you know, I what know. I call the west coast of my county, where the tourism hub is, that um, environmental impact study, you know, had to pass the straight face test. Yes, and I know you voted positively for it, along with several other county execs, and we yeah. needed your vote in order to get that passed. NIMCHIC right. does require unanimous um, approval, and what we were looking at, other than the shoreline, was the opportunity for jobs. I right. have a county filled with union families. We're very much I'm a union. I'm very pro-union. And I was raised way. in a union family, both my grandfather and my father's and my aunt's and, you know, my family. So what I look at this is part of history. You know, out of the Depression, all of the major infrastructure projects brought people back to work. And I identified the TZ Bridge as a great way to get our union families back. And Megan, how do you feel about promoting jobs in the future through economic development? If you bring in big office buildings or, or, or stores, it, it creates jobs. Absolutely. And we, um, we're trying to keep, uh, keep our talented workforce in Putnam. Mm -hmm. um, and by bringing in our manufacturing, bringing manufacturing back to the U.S. and bringing manufacturing back to Putnam County, identifying corporate headquarters which we have, which have been interested in Putnam County, trying to bring those types of jobs back in. That's what we're really trying to do um, to promote this, to promote job growth here. Sounds very interesting. Um, what's your background and why were you picked to be the... I, uh, before I started here in Putnam, I was the Director of Business Attraction at the Orange County Partnership, which wow. is the Office of Economic Development for Orange County, New York, on the other wow. side of the river. I've so, heard of Orange County. Yep. I so, get over there once in a while. Very different from Putnam. Very different. Um, very different. But really, uh, coming here, it was it was an easy transition. Economic development is economic development, regardless sure. of where you are. You know, and and partnering with local commercial brokers, commercial real estate developers, and really our our regional and, and uh, state economic development. And officials. I hear you're very qualified for the job. You have a master's in what? In marketing. Marketing, marketing yes. from Mount St. Mary College. Yep. So I think it's an excellent pick by you, Miss. Well, Odell. I should say that uh, it was the Economic Development Board right. that uh, vetted through all the applicants and chose Megan. And I think that they chose the perfect person to represent the vision of my administration, and that's bringing jobs and smart growth. You know, right. you can't talk about skyscrapers in Putnam County. It just no, doesn't fit. Because you've got to have a, a balance between green and development. We, we're, so, a, right. we're a watershed um, county, and so we have to be very mindful of, of, you know, the rules and regulations of the watershed. And we're a very home rule county, which means that each town has their own zoning and planning right. preferences. And, and, of course, we respect that. What we do have, I think that Putnam County has, is that 50-mile uh, window from New York City. Right. We have uh, two rail lines, 
and we have two interstates, the Taconic and 684, and Metro North is now um, very, very interested in a close partnership with uh, Director Pataki for tourism, knowing yes. that the rail runs both ways. So, you know, we have the, the history, we have the heritage, we have the infrastructure, and now we have uh, somebody full-time to uh, meet with the investors and, and meet with the entrepreneurs and, and great, showcase our beautiful and, county. And you have a great part-time tourism director. She's full-time. Oh, she's full-time. Oh, sure. Oh, wow. Libby's on and that floor, third floor. And she's in the office, floor. from what I hear. Every day. Every day. She's on the third floor um, every single day. Libby is um, extremely And she comes active. from my fine home, home city of Peekskill, New York along with her husband, George, who had Pataki Farm. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's a shame in Peekskill that they haven't put a statue up for George Pataki. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to lobby my mayor and council or the new mayor and council that will come in next year that we get that right corrected in, in Well, Peekskill. you know, they're very modest people. Yes, and I'm, I'm, I know. I'm, I'm sure that he would be honored his father, Louie, was a great guy, and so was his mother, Rose. She right. once said I took a video of her, and she says it was the best video she <laughs> ever had. Apparently, she was a very good politician, too. Herself. I yeah, think what defines them is lady. they're very authentic. Yes. They're mm -hmm. very, very authentic Down to people. Down-to-earth people, Correct. good people. Yeah, yep. So we're almost near the end of the show. We're in our final two minutes. Okay. I'm very honored to have had you on the George Ondek show tonight. You will not only be seen in 40 cities throughout Westchester and Putnam, but on YouTube all over the world. Uh, what do you have to say in closing? Let's see, I'll start with Megan. Perfect. I would just say that um, please keep your eye out for Putnam County. You're going to see numerous marketing campaigns. Uh, for economic development coming through my office. Uh, we are redoing the website and you are going How can people reach you if they want to reach you? Absolutely. You can uh, check out the new website. It's going to be live on July 15th. And what it's is it? www.putnamedc.org. Okay. And Miss Mary Ellen Odell, what do you have to say to my vast audience in closing? Well, I want to thank you very much for, for this you. opportunity. Thanks to not only introduce, um, you know, an up-and-coming star in economic mm -hmm. development, but, um, you know, to just talk about our county, which, you know, has an awful lot, awful lot to offer. And as Megan said, and you know. how can people reach you, Miss Odell, if they want to reach you after seeing this show? Today? Well, our um, phone number, which I'm sure you'll post up, is 845-808-1001. And um, so, um, you know, we're... We're always open for business in Putnam County. And this has been the first time I've had you on my show. I hope it's the first of many in the future, especially next year when you're running for re-election. <laughs> <laughs> Is that next year already? I <laughs> think thank so. You. Really? It's amazing. Thank you oh, so oh, much. Sorry. No, oh. that's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And once again, my audience, this has been George Ondek with my two lovely guests from Putnam County. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks, George. Thank you, Miss Hotel. Thank you, Miss Taylor. Thank you.